Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Today I'm gonna talk about prepping. Um, I was going through some of my stuff a few days ago, and I was packing it up, looking at a few things, and I realized that wow, a few of my things were not in the places I thought they were. Uh, they might have not been in the bag that I saw, thought they would be in, um, and I wasn't happy. wasn't happy with the conditions of a few things if I had to bug out quickly, and this was definitely my fault. Um, and it really doesn't cost money to fix my problem. My problem was I was a little disorganized on a few things. I, I try to keep everything organized. Uh, I love pegboards. I, I love to have things where I know where they are. Because it makes things easier. If you have to do a plumbing job or an electrical job and you have all your tools where you know where they are, you can get the job done quicker. And if it was an emergency and I needed to uh, check something electrically or, or do something plumbing with the plumbing, and all my tools were there, I could get the job done quicker and maybe not have as much damage or troubles doing the job. So I'm challenging you right now. Um, look at your stuff. It doesn't cost you any money. Um, this weekend, don't watch TV. Don't even get on YouTube other than watch this video so you know what you're doing. But don't even, don't even do what you normally do for fun until your preps are organized to a point if you had to bug out you could grab your bag and go. And this will include, preppers are sort of like minute men or minute ladies. We gotta be ready at a minute's notice because we don't know what the disaster is. It could be an earthquake, um, it could be a fire, it could be a, a violent confrontation in your neighborhood. It could be anything, but we have to be ready in a minute to uh, react to the situation. You might have all the survival gear, and you could have a basement check full of everything, and it's it's all over your basement. But guess what? If you got five minutes to evacuate your house, and you don't have a bug out bag or, or the things uh, labeled where you know where to grab, you might as well not have all that stuff because you only have five minutes. You're gonna be very disorganized. You might grab the wrong stuff, uh, and it's gonna cause you a problem. So I challenge you. This is the weekend. You get your bug out bag organized. Uh, I know you've taken stuff out of your bag and used it. Find that stuff, put it back in there. Uh, zip up that bug out bag, put it in the corner, and don't take anything out. Uh, you, you might be fine with your bug out bag, but it's your water. Empty out those water jugs, fill it full this weekend. Um, also, what happened if you had a, a situation and you needed a firearm? Um, I know some of you guys have extra firearms you've never shot are probably not even sighted in because I know you have them because guess what I have some in the safe same thing never fired them um, maybe some of you haven't fired your your primary weapon that much take it out this weekend confirm the zero put some rounds down range um, this weekend it's not gonna cost you that much money to get organized get your stuff labeled get your stuff bagged up um, feel more confident because when it happens, there's no like, oh, I'm just going to go fix that. It's game time. You have to react. Um, and it's not time to start packing a bag. It's time to move. I also, we're like Minutemen. So if you have a vest or some some type of device or web gear or to carry your firearm accessories as magazines, uh, your knife, your, your first aid pouch, get that thing set up. You never know when you need it. And it's going to do you no good if all the pieces are, are there, but you got to put it together. We need to be Minutemen. We need to be Minutemen for our families. We need to be Minutemen for our country, ready to react on anything. So I challenge you, no TV, uh, nothing this weekend until you feel that you are more confident in your ability to bug out or to react to any situation. Thanks for watching.